On that day, every man, woman, and child on Earth instantly turned to stone. This is it, Senku! My mind's made up! I'm finally gonna do it! After five long years, I'm telling her how I feel! Wow. Fascinating. I can't leave the lab right now. But I promise to cheer you on so vociferously, my vocal cords will snap. Awesome! You mean it? You rock, Senku! No, you big oaf. I won't project my voice even one millimeter for your cause. What? Come on, man! Look, you've felt this way for five years, but never said anything. I can't praise such a logical behavior, but I can give you something logical as hell. I've developed this drug as a kind of love potion. It maxes out your pheromone levels granting you a 10 billion percent chance of winning her heart. Hmm. Uh, thanks, but no thanks, Senku. I gotta do this my way. Whoa, are you serious? You made a love potion? <sighs> Come on, use your brain. Whoa. That's gasoline. I simply refined it from plastic bottle caps. Uh -huh. Consider the molecular structure of polyethylene. It's just like a long gasoline molecule minus a few hydrocarbons. You can tell just by looking. Well, I can't. Me neither. Yeah, but if Taiji drank it, wouldn't that have killed him? <laughs> no, the odds of him drinking that were 10 billion to one. He's dumb, but too straight-laced. Yuzuriha! Sorry I'm late! It's fine. So what's going on, Taiju? You wanted to talk to me? <laughs> A hundred yen on heartbreak. Three hundred on her making him cry. Five hundred on her calling him a creep. I bet ten thousand uh -huh. that she's into him too. Seriously? All this time, I've been so scared that if I tell her how I really feel about her, she could not want to be my friend anymore. But I can't keep it a secret forever. It's like this, Yuzuriha. All right, no turning back now. I've kept this inside me for five years, and... <laughs> Hold up. What's that weird light? Grab onto the tree! Ugh. What the hell? Why did it get so dark? I can't, I can't talk! What's happening? Help! It's the end of the world! My children! or else I'll fade out! Wake up, Taizu! Yuzuriha's smart. I'm sure she probably got away. But I can't die a coward! I have to find her and tell her exactly how I feel! I've got the willpower to survive! I know I do! This could go on for weeks, or even months! But still, no matter what, I gotta let her know! How many decades has it been? Centuries? Millennia? Well, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna tell Yuzuriha what my true feelings are. I'm gonna survive this, even if it kills me!
I can move my body again! <laughs> Pieces of stone? <sighs> oh no. So, like, everyone went through all that too? It's horrible. How long have we been like this? I'm sorry. I really wish I could do more to help you. As long as the landscape hasn't changed too much, I should be able to follow the river. That'll lead me to the tree and to her. Whoa, something just fell over there. Is that a bird statue? There's so much detail. I mean, check out those wings. It looks so real. I think maybe it is real. <gasps> a friend of mine just found one of these. I saw the picture he posted of it. You poor little thing. What happened? Is it like some kind of disease that made your skin harden up? <sighs> well, of course the vet's office wouldn't be open before school hours. Didn't really think this one through, huh? Crap, it's her! Not to mention that's obviously a statue or something and not a real bird. But you still brought it to the vet. You're so silly. It's embarrassing. Uh, of course, the moment I do something stupid like this, my crush shows up out of nowhere. Just my luck! Uh, why are you here? Well, because I'm a big old dummy too. I found this little guy and wanted to see if I could help him. Great minds, huh? <laughs> hey, don't laugh at me. You did the exact same thing. And we're both gonna be late for school. I could never forget that face. Not even after thousands of years. I knew you were still alive. I never lost hope. And now... Ah, I'm really proud of you! And you're incredible too, Tree! You kept her safe this entire time! Like you held on to her! Thank you! Sorry, but I just couldn't protect you. In fact, when you really think about it, you were actually the one protecting me. I was able to stay alive because of you. It's the truth. You were my light shining in the darkness for hundreds, even thousands of years. And now I can finally say it. I started back then, but I never got to finish. So? What I was gonna tell you that day is that, that I... <sighs> I've loved you for hundreds and thousands of years. I swear on my life, I'll save you! Don't know how, but I'll find a way! Okay? So just wait... Uh -huh. Follow the river downstream, Big Oaf? <laughs> well, look who's finally awake. Good morning, you Big Oaf. <laughs> Coon, you're alive too! Don't you dare hug me while you're buck naked! Hands off! I'm not joking! <sighs> it's October 5th in the year 5738. You really slept in for a hell of a long time. 
I've been up and diligently working my tail off for the last six months. Hold on. So it's been like... It has been 3,700 years. <gasps> How do you know what day it is? You got some kind of calendar or what? Huh? I figured it out by counting. It was the logical thing to do. Oh. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. <laughs> Damn. Almost lost consciousness again. Seems to happen about every 800,000 seconds. <laughs> it's about as regular as my bowel movements used to be. I'll need to think and count at the same time. Run parallel processes. 116,427,065,530 seconds. One, two, three. So that whole time you were frozen, you just... counted? Even if I had willed myself awake before then, being out here stark naked with no supplies in winter would have meant game over pretty damn quickly. I realized I would have to start things up in the springtime, so keeping an extremely precise account of the time was an absolute must. All right, we're here. We need to put a pin in the small talk and get to work. Senku, you're telling me... You did this... on your own? Until now, I've been lacking manpower, and coming up with the bare minimum to survive takes all my time. If I'm gonna rebuild civilization, I'll need a muscly meathead to do the grunt work. In other words, I've been waiting for you, Taiju. I was 10 billion percent sure you were still alive. You were so hell-bent on confessing your love, and for a guy as stubborn as you, even a few thousand years wouldn't stop you from making that happen. You aren't that weak. Yeah. Of course I'm not! All right, Senku. If you can handle all the brainy stuff, you can leave the heavy lifting to me. No problem! It took humanity over two million years to crawl out of the Stone Age to the Modern Age. We need to do that in a sprint. I swear I'm going to take back the world. Through science, I'll figure out what happened to us and how we broke free. I swear I'm gonna save you, Zuriha. We may be a couple of high school kids, but we're gonna rebuild civilization from the ground up. You and I will be like Adam and Eve. Together, we'll bring life back to this stone world. This is exhilarating. Get excited. That's definitely a plus-sized haul, Taiju. You have a real-life cheat code for stamina? Oh. <gasps> Amanita Verosa, toxic. Meiji, safe. Amanita Muscaria, toxic. If something looks like it's out of a Mario game, pass it up. Next, Mugwort. That's edible. Wolfsbane, are you trying to poison us? Oh, man! What the heck did you season this with? Just some salt that I pulled out of the seawater. A little pinch of it will make almost anything palatable. We can utilize it for pickling food as well. One of primitive man's greatest discoveries, I'd say. Thank you, Senku. This is perfect. I may not know all the stuff that you do, but I'm gonna bust my back working for us. Oh. Ah, time to check out the other direction. Whoa, these look like grapes. Can we eat these too? There's one way to find out. Get in my belly. I know I've seen that guy on TV. He's called the strongest primate high schooler, Shishio Sukasa. Guess he couldn't fight it either. What's that? Oh! Me and Senko haven't been here yet, so that means someone else survived! I gotta know who they are! It was me, idiot. Oh, no way! Are we the only ones left, for real? Like, the last humans still alive? We'll get more. That's a top priority. 
I mean, the two of us alone, just a couple of dudes. Can't restart humanity if you catch my drift. Yeah, that's true. Besides, why after 3,700 years did we break free from our petrified condition? The stone rotted away? Well, something like that. Say the strange mineral had been corroded. <laughs> Can you chalk up the timing to mere random coincidence? Six months apart is a relative blip on the radar. There's a reason why we both reanimated so close together. We drifted up near here. It would make sense that this cave factored in somehow. See that? The stuff trickling from overhead? Hmm? That's our miracle fluid, made from bat guano. Good old nitric acid. No way! That's crazy! What is that? I did anticipate that question, but I'm not going to waste my breath explaining it to you. Let me guess, you pour some of the miracle stuff on it, the stone breaks and the bird wakes up. How I wish it were so straightforward. That would rule. <laughs> I've been working like a madman on this project, using every last method I could think of. Over and over, again and again. It's like something from a fantasy world. Is it all mineral? Are there living cells underneath? I don't have the laboratory for in-depth analysis. So basically what you're telling me is, there are things even science can't explain. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, that tired old cliche. Truth is, it never quite stands up to the scientific method. Science is often a slow process. Some liquor might speed things up. No, no. Combined with the nitric acid, we could make something nice and potent. What's commonly known as nidal which is an industrial strength etching agent. What did you say we needed? Huh? I said we could make nidal. It gets into the ferrite grain boundary. No! Don't confuse me with some kind of science talk. I mean the part about liquor. Wine comes from grapes, yeah? And that is a type of alcohol, isn't it? <laughs> Not bad, you pig -oaf. I'll have you handle all the neck down work from here on out. That's just the logical choice. Making wine is an extremely simple process. Crush your grapes or fruit, put it in a container, and stir it up every day until it's ready to go. <laughs> but if we tried this back in our time, we'd get arrested for not having a license. It's been three weeks. That should do the trick. Thought of something. Underage drinking's a crime too. <laughs> Not a problem. After all, we're both a little over 3,700 years old. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Not bad. Way better than expected. But it's 10 billion times worse than what was on the market, though. That was so easy. Just stomping grapes and waiting around? One step at a time, my friend. Though I hate to say it, our pace will slow down. This will be a course in distilling wine for dummies. Our goal is to acquire some brandy. Distilling, huh? No idea what that means! I knew you'd say that. It's heating, cooling, and dripping. That'll concentrate the alcohol. Don't worry. People back in ancient Mesopotamia were doing this with clay pots in 3000 BC. And if they can do it, then so can we! Now get excited, Taija! <laughs>
Listen up, Big Oaf. Lesson one. It's not that there are things science can't explain. Not in the least. There are rules behind everything that happens. Science is just the name for the steady, pain-in-the-ass effort that goes into finding out what they are. experimenting for a year now. It actually didn't take as long as I'd imagined. <sighs> Slow and steady wins the race. I'm gonna beat fantasy with science as my only weapon. <sighs> oh, hell yeah. Get excited. Oh, sekai, good morning, Come on. 